Hello coders, in this video I am going to explain you how we can select the column of pandas data frame. So in pandas we can select the column using bracket notation or with dot notation so that you can see over here. First I have selected the name column using bracket notation. The same I have selected with the dot notation. So you are wondering which one to use dot notation or bracket notation. So dot notation is easy and handy and also fast to use. So let me take three cases and finally you decide which one to use bracket notation or dot notation. So now let me take our first example. So here you can see I want to select only one column of the pandas data frame. So but watch here carefully. Here student name label contains space in between students space name so if we try to use dot notation it will generate syntax error that you can see over here syntax error so for that we have to use bracket notation there is no any other option right now let me take second example in that you can see i want to select two columns any two columns from your data frame so in that we have to use bracket notation we can't do it with the dot notation not possible at all now let me take third example as you can see just i have created this data frame to explain you the concept of bracket and dot notation as you can see over here labels of this data frame are shape and head like attribute and method of the pandas data frame now if you use the dot notation then you can see it works like a pandas attribute and it gives you the shape four rows and two columns but we want the columns of the pandas data frame now if you write data frame dot head it will show you the head first five rows of the data frame but what we want only head columns of the pandas data frame which is one two three and four so now you decide which one to use bracket notation or dot notation let i show you this concept practically in the jupyter notebook now as you can see here i have created the data frame to explain the concept of bracket notation and dot notation now let me select the name column using bracket notation that you can see same we can select the name column with dot notation like this now the first example let i copy and paste this data frame over here now let i add student space name now if you want to access this label students comma name if you want to access this column you can see over here student space name if i try to access with the dot notation then you can see student space name it will generate the syntax error if you remove the space in between then you can see over here it will generate the attribute error so to access this column with dot notation is not possible if it contains the space in between so now let we try to access with the bracket notation so for that we have to write df1 so now let me execute this once now you can see we can easily access with the bracket notation so now let me again print our data frame df1 now if i want to access the multiple columns or any two columns then it is not possible to access with the dot notation so for that we have to use bracket notation so df1 in the bracket we have to pass the column names student name comma marks so we can access multiple columns using bracket notation only now just to explain you the concept of dot notation and bracket notation here i have created the data frame with shape and head which is like attributes and method of the pandas data frame 
if we try to access with the dot notation then you can see it works like a inbuilt attribute of pandas data frame so it will show you your data frame contains four row and two columns so not possible if you try to access the head column then it will works as a head method of the pandas data frame so for that we have to use the bracket notation like this shape and head so dot notation is easy and handy and also fast to use but we can't use it for all the cases so for that we have to use bracket notation only thank you thank you for watching